Okay. All right, welcome back. So, uh, the rails are all done, and I have just finished the grounding. Let me show you what I used. So I just got these from Home Depot. I just got these self-tapping metal screws, and then these uh, um, terminal lugs. And you can buy those at uh, any Home Depot. Uh, I got these for 10 gauge wire. That's what I'm using for the ground. You need to check with your local code. Make sure you use the right size. It's usually about 10, 10 gauge um, for what I'm doing. But you can see everywhere the rail is spliced. I did a connection. That's, that's what you need to do per code so the connection stays going through. And then I also tied the rails together. So I, I know the panels will, but I wanted to play it extra safe. So there's a connection there, spliced, grounded, there. And there's another one over here. So there and there. And then I did, because I'm doing the seven rails on top and then three more at the bottom. So 10, 255 watt rails total. So I did the uh, 24 feet up here for seven rails. And then down here, I did another section right here sorry so I did another section down here you can see I had to splice another three foot section so I have 12 feet of rail uh, the panels will take up 10 feet of it when I'm all done I'm gonna cut off the excess on the ends so they're not sticking out um, but I, you can see I did it there a ground there as well and then the rails are grounded together as well using that one ground there and then uh, after this, I can start installing the rails, uh, waiting for some more eight gauge MC4 connection cable to come. Sorry, blocking the camera here. So as soon as I get my extra wire, uh, I'm gonna run it down, go through the roof right there, and the inverter's gonna be in my backyard right there against the house. But um, I'm just doing a single inverter system here. Uh, micro inverters are very popular, they're great to have. Um, I don't have any shading whatsoever on my roof, so uh, th that is the biggest benefit of going to microinverters is the MPPT for each panel separately. My inverter will do two separate MPP channels, MPPT channels, so I am, as of right now, I'm only using the one though. I, uh, all my panels should be sun and shaded equally throughout the day. Um, where I'm at and I will plant my trees accordingly as you can see my house is brand new We're just finishing up the yard So I will plant the trees accordingly to keep the Sun off my panels um, I might not even do any trees in the backyard So and I'm far enough away from the neighbors that, that shouldn't ever shade my roof um, I will However, if a panel happens to go out or something then uh, it will drop my whole system So I'll have to go in and diagnose that so it's a little cheaper to do the single inverter system, but um, it's uh, better for the, sorry, we got distracted, we got lots of construction going on still, so. But it's better to do the micro inverters uh, in the situation where a panel would go out, it wouldn't drop your whole system, uh, whereas a single inverter, you will drop your whole system. I'm willing to take that risk. I'm happy to come up here and troubleshoot and find out which panel it was. Uh, it's saving me about a thousand dollars going with the single inverter, and and a thousand dollars will take take a while to pay off. Um, so my inverter is 97% efficient, so it's uh, I'm pretty excited about it. I'll post links to all the equipment I have. Um, anyway, so that's my system so far. I will start installing the panels, and I will do another another video when I do that. Thanks.